Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Bruce Schwartz. I'm from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. This is the surface of the moon with a 14 inch telescope, a CGXL 1400 HD telescope. Thanks for the support everyone for stopping by, taking the time to subscribe to check out my research. Yeah, I started doing this only two years ago and I got so much support from everyone and so many people from around the world that I decided to continue this and hoping um, that everything continues well. Well, at the beginning of January, I will probably be doing more of this and different projects that I want to integrate into the channel that I know most and every one of you are going to appreciate. Then some amazing sun footage. And over the years, I've been accumulating a lot of sun footage, but there was so much activity Last year, it was absolutely crazy. Now the sun is a bit more quieter, but now for whatever the reason, I'm seeing some um, activity around the sun. You know, we're not there every day up in the sky, but if I had the chance to do so, I would catch a lot more. But you'll see a couple of nice, uh, cool shots that I got, some live shots of uh, coronal mass ejections. You know, there's energy always coming out of, of the that sun you know it's exhausting all the time and you see these massive plumes of plasma like fireballs flying up into the sky and uh, of the sun and going back down to the sun and I, I was actually able to catch one so right after this guys we'll get right to it So we'll go see the sun right after this. This is Bianchini Crater, the view east of it, a low altitude view. And these are structures. It's a beautiful beginning of a way to see the surface. Listen, the surface is not easy to see. It's basically near impossible to see. And this way gives us a real good glimpse that objects down there are symmetrically placed in unison and are definitely constructed new or old as we progress along you'll see right here all the bumps and symmetrical objects so now there's a blur between them and that blur is smokes and hazes and smaller structures on the even uh, closer surface the more descending levels just an amazing proof again of being able to see this i get so many mad when they see this and it's really there guys all these structures are really on the surface so many people ask me bruce could you please get this 
the sun and I have some footage that I've got a while back that I haven't even showed yet and this is some of it the sky so ever so red and some days a lot more red than usual you see some objects that are going by. It's so dense that I'm able to film the sun right here without even any filter. Here's a spacecraft entering the sun. No, I'm kidding. Relax. Oh, I can only imagine what people are going to say if I would have said that. See how it's going in front of the sun? Whoosh. As it goes by the sun. It skimmed the sun. No, probably not. But it's an airplane, obviously a Boeing, going in front of the sun. Wanted to capture that because I thought it was cool. Is that okay, guys? That's all I did, just wanted to capture that. But there's one, and you knew I was gonna mention it, some of you, that went through it that had an actual fire on the airplane itself, like a jet or a rocket prop propulsion. And that's what we're gonna go see at the end of the video. We've seen it before, I'll just get a little glimpse on it. Um, I'll get some music up, I guess, instead of talking. These are just, you know, could be mass ejections, CMEs, or uh, plasma coming out of the sun, or objects going by the sun. Uh, they'd have to be pretty big if we're seeing them. And um, just an exquisite view. When you slow down the footage to see what's going on, because this is very slowed down, and it, they're hard to see, absolutely hard to see. Tried to gather a bit of a, an accumulation of some of them, and not just show one of them at a time so that you guys can see a bit of what goes on out there in the sun. You know, we don't see it. We're looking at this blinding, blinding light um, and all these things are whizzing by it. 